time I'm showing you how to prevent your uh, pump. Um, I'm trying to show you how to prevent your, your pool from getting blown by one storm. And tomorrow I'm going to be uploading another video on how to pick up a pool, the pool after the wind storm. Okay, so here we go. So the first step you want to do here, okay? Alright. Is that. Make sure the filter's off. Alright. And turn off at the breaker. Because last sto the last storm we had was back in 2014. That was the bad storm. We had um, our pool filled, overflown. We uh, had leaves on the bottom of the pool. We also we had bad, multiple bad um, things. And so this is another way how to actually get your pool cleaned after a windstorm and how to do stuff before a windstorm. So I had this running for 24 hours because I had to um, add some stabilizer in my pool yesterday because the stabilizer is a little bit down. And um, okay, so turn on the pump. All right. So during this windstorm, okay. Okay, if your pool pump's running. If your pool pump is running, if you have this device down on, on the bottom of your skimmer, it's called a diverter valve, the stuff from the main joint. But you do not want to do that because the, the, the main drain line can get clogged. I had that happen before, okay? Another, another prevention is make sure the breeder doesn't get stuck on your skimmer flap. Uh, if your skimmer flap gets stuck with debris, the uh, when it goes down, it won't go down actually, it will stay like this. So with that little thing on the bottom of there, that thing would collapse down. Okay. Another step is, another, another, another rule of thumb is make sure your pool pump I'm not making the noises right now. All right, make sure this does not get clogged with the breed. I'm going to go ahead and just pull this out, put it back in. Get your skimmer. Walk in there. Clean out your skimmer basket as well, prevent any debris. Now, if you had a major windstorm, so I say a lot of people you want to actually skim the pool first, brush it, weigh an hour, and vacuum out the pool. Alright, once you get the surface clean, go ahead and start the pump. Okay, vacuum out the pool. If you have a, a canister, you can use that, but if but if the debris is big, um, you do not want to use a canister because the debris would get stuck on the vacuum head and would have actually, um, the pump would, would have lost suction and would have sucked there as well. So that's what you also want to do when, there's, when you have a windstorm coming. Next step is after the windstorm, depends on if you pull with me, you want to run it for at least, um, you want to run it for 24 hours a whole month. If the pool is turned green, because of the debris and the organic staining, you're going to run it for 24 hours a week. 24 7, so that way the pool is circulating. Alright, if the pool would have, if the, uh, the, uh, the debris would have bypassed the skimmer, or would have torn the skimmer, or would have got sucked into the main drain, or if the main drain cover would have broke, always want to paint up the pump basket. Okay, so I'll pull this out, get the lid, put it back on. You don't want to run it without the uh, basket in there. Or the debris would get stuck into the, uh, the, um, the uh, impeller. 
Right now, 20 around 70 miles per hour. Very bad. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about running it real quick, just flicking it on and off, or something like that. <laughs> Bypass the filter, the filter is cracked. I always want to check your impeller. If it's clogged, another way how to do this as well. I just want to, I just, you know, and then there you go, you got a little leaf right there. Alright. Okay. We're not going to be, we don't, we don't have time to prime the pump, but well, we do have time, but we just don't want to prime it up right now. Alright, then go ahead and put the lid back on, flick it on, and step back a few feet when I turn the pump. Got the pump slot priming. Turn it off, fill out the quarter. We got a problem. There we go. The very what got stuck, so time to fill up our pool now. Got a bathroom on because of course we'll have a hose attached to the back of um, the spigot. There you go, right? And I fill up the water. Now if this happens, you want to go ahead and turn off your fountains. It's not going to take time for the pool to fill up. Go back over here and turn off the pump. I'm going to turn off the fountain. There you go. That's another way how to I can try your pool before and after one storm. Come on, I'll be part two. After the windstorm, thank you for watching.